Hi everyone, welcome in another video of knitting via Prometheus. And in this video, we will see how we can do uh, monitoring of Postgres via a Postgres exporter. This is our playlist in which you can find the Prometheus related video, uh, different exporter we are uh, used and demonstrate. We are also have videos uh, related to cloud, SIM and other. Please browse. Uh, to our channel and this is our public project where we are maintaining the information like we have maintained the last three exporter uh, let's start uh, everything currently maintained in the feature branch then we have uh, today content of oh, postgres exporter and under that you can see uh, we have a readme file which uh, have this step which are useful in when you will do uh, the implementation of the slab all by yourself so what you have to do you have to uh, first you need to have the docker and docker compose then uh, you should have the prometheus and grafana uh, you should start if you don't have then you start the postgres and its exporter and to view its data in dashboard you have this public dashboard so let's start with the and then we will see things in detail so this is the docker compose file which is creating the prometheus and uh, grafana this file we have already explained in the last two videos of uh, my sql exporter and exporter so explaining again uh, i don't think it's good uh, to make uh, so you can watch out the videos so what we are doing here we are just creating the postgres prometheus and grafana let's uh, create the container as we this is the uh, one change here uh, we have to look prometheus look have to look the postgres exporter so that's why we have mentioned here the Postgres exporter here uh, as we have the docker compose file we just run the docker compose up hyphen d command and uh, this images are already pulled before the uh, this video so container started then you can see uh, on my screen that uh, let's validate via browsing their ui on 3000 port grafana is running on 9090 prometheus is running okay so let's see the target status target should be down uh, you know the reason why it's down as uh, printed we have uh, made up the postgres exporter so that's why it's showing down so let's move to the postgres and export section and uh, it's under the uh, directory so here we have another docker compose file in which we have declared the version and then we have <coughs> defined this in configuration like it's uh, which image you have to choose what username password we have uh, passed it as the any envies then we have postgres data volume and then its port how it can be reachable and most important networking it's uh, we have created the prometheus and grafana on monitoring network and same we have uh, created here say on same network we are creating the postgres and its exporter so that's all the very limited uh, configuration i'm using then we have postgres exporter its public image its container name and then some uh, in the values where we are mentioning how it will access the postgres so here you again see networking part and it is relying on the postgres then we are defining the volumes and network so that is the minimum configuration i am using here to demonstrate uh, like 
we i'm just passing the secret as open you should do some use some secret management as you might be using in your project for as this is just a public demo so i'm just uploading the same uh, in this in the repo that you can use to demonstrate or uh, your uh, your lab then uh, now we have made up the containers now we have total four container postgres and post exporter is now added and here postgres exporter is reachable at uh, 9187 quick recap first we have created the prometheus and grafana we have accessed their ui now we have created the postgres with uh, we can say exporter now we can first check our exporter is working or not our exporter is working on port 9187 yes it's working fine and uh, it's exposed the matrices at slash matrices path so let's see here we can see uh, we have the matrices available so exporter is working fine let's refresh it our configuration is part is done as we can see postgres exporter is up and why it's up because earlier postgres exporter was not there in the network now it's reachable and uh, prometheus can reach out to it to get its matrices so here all the configuration part is done now we have to do some configuration at grafana hand as you know uh password is the admin and username is also admin just do login and uh, first step what we have to do is adding prometheus as a data source add prometheus and uh, don't need to change the name just make it entry here http prometheus and its port 9090 then we can test it if it's working fine or not uh so it's working fine next move we have to with some uh, need some visualization here i have uh, in my readme i have shared the public uh, dashboard just copy its id and uh, go to the dashboard and import its id and then you can see a good uh, ui interface which very helpful to take decision and uh, enter the id just load it and uh, select the data source here prometheus and load it here you can see the version the information is uh, currently not coming it took some time to show uh, i will pause here for some time and then we will see i think it will take just one or two minute uh, to sh show the graphs here okay welcome back now you can see the details here uh, <coughs> there are multiple matrices are um, coming here which are very useful while making decision of resource management and how your process is getting uh, is getting much used or what are the different like active connections and other things so uh, if you like our effort please do uh, a like and uh, do comment and if you have some thing project or some tool uh, you want us to cover and you need that video just mention it in the comment and we will get back with that video so bye bye thanks for watching